So thank you all for coming. So today I want to talk about the Chicago Booth 7 Summit Challenge. So I want to, uh, the intention of the talk is to get some of you interested in climbing. Uh, and uh, together I think we can achieve something phenomenal. Uh, and uh, so first I want to talk a little bit about how I got into climbing. So I wanted to be the person, the cool person on the right. I turned out to be the sucker on the left. So on Christmas Day 2008, I crushed my T7 vertebrae. And uh, on the hospital bed at night, and there's some influence of drugs and pain, this mountain came to my mind. And I decided <laughs> I want to climb that mountain. Because I thought that to go through an uh, expected long and painful recovery, I need something beautiful to help me through this process. Uh, so I got to know two of my friends, Adam and Mike. We started training when I got better. So we did a lot of physical climbing, we did some technical. And in August, we arrived in Zurich, we parted extremely hard before our climb. Because we thought, you know, this might be the last time we climb. Uh, because the reason is, death is not eminent, but it's always part of the equation in climbing. So when we got to Zermatt, we went to the graveyard, visited the people who passed away in that area. At the same time, we did a lot of acclimatization to get to know the area. Then on August the 13th, we started our climbing on that Horley Ridge. We left our uh, base camp at 4 in the morning. It was eerily quiet as everyone was getting ready. And there you see Mike is uh, taking on part of the challenge. And uh, six hours later at 10 o'clock, I finally got to the summit of the mountain. The view was phenomenal. We could see all the way from Mont Blanc to Mont Rosa. It was also very, very emotional for me. I've never been that emotional in my life. So when I closed my eyes, I told myself, I'm now on the peak of the Matterhorn. I just couldn't stop uh, crying. Uh, eight months ago, an accident nearly killed me, and now I did something that I thought I never would be able to do in my life. Uh, so when I came back, I asked myself, uh, why climbing? I, I don't think the trip necessarily changed my life, but definitely changed my perspective on life. And the most important thing is just the mountain is so beautiful. I think unless you get to the mountain, unless you stand there, you see the cloud enter your feet, you breathe in the thin air, you hear the wind, you touch the glacier, it's very hard for you to comprehend the beauty. And I think it's sort of like a relationship. You get to know this guy or this girl, you're interested in him or her. <laughs> you, know, you want to get closer to them, and uh, then when you're around them, you're very, very nervous. And finally, you know, what's the best? After all this journey, when you're on top. <laughs> And uh, also the friendship is a big part. Uh, bottom line, my life is tied in with two of my buddies. If I fall into that crevasse, I expect them to save me. And if any one of them fall, I will do the same. And finally, it's the respect for the mountain. It's the same thing in a relationship. The mountain is extremely beautiful, but it's also very, very powerful. If you do not respect the mountain, it will devour your life. And I also think that it, it helps to put life in perspective. You know, recruiting, finals, a relationship, it's all hard. But, you know, it will pass. And all we need to do is to live our lives to the fullest. And that's why I want to share this Booth 7 Summit Challenge with all of you. Uh, and I think that if we, together, we can do something that is phenomenal. It's very easy in the next seven years. A uh, team of both students, alumni, will climb these seven mountains from Europe, Africa, North America, Antarctica, South America, and uh, Oceania. And finally, uh, Mount Everest. Uh, I think that's the dream and the greatest fear of all mountaineers. So I hope that by 2020, uh, some of you and I will together put the Booth banner on top of that mountain. Uh, but I would suggest the first mountain we climb be an Ancapagua. <laughs> uh, I've had my eye on this mountain for a while. It's not as hard as Mount Everest. It's not as easy as uh, Kilimanjaro. Uh, it's the highest peak outside Asia, so it's the second tallest uh, in this list right after Mount Everest. It's not extremely technical. I think that's a good try for us. So these are some of the technical specifications of the mountain. The bottom line is I hope that you will be interested to join me, and I will see you on that trail next December. Thank you.